Hello, today I'm going to talk to you about how to log in for the first time into your Google Apps for Education account. This video is mainly for teachers, admin, and students. So, um, you've gotten your email and I'm going to explain your password for the Richland School District, but other districts can use this video for training as well. You're going to start by going to your Google Drive, except since you haven't logged in, you're going to tr type drive.google.com. However, sometimes it will just populate when you start typing, and then you can just press enter. And then this is the opening screen where you can learn more about Google Drive, all the Google Apps that go along with it, but for this video you're just going to click on Go to Google Drive one account, all of Google. This is where you're going to put in your email. Now, um, if you're new, your teacher or administrator or IT person should already have given you your email. So, for example, um, my email that was given to me is eteacher at rsdshafter.org. Now this is our domain. Your district may have a different domain. And then for our district, we decided to, uh, we decided to have a generic password to start with. And the password is capital R, capital S, capital D, teacher 2014. And then when you click sign in, it says welcome to your new account. This is information for you to read, and then there's uh, Google Terms of Service. Some people read that, some people don't, and then you click I accept, continue to my account. Now it's going to ask you for a new password. Please make sure that you write this down. Usually they want to have eight characters, including capital letters and also numbers. So think of something that works best for you. Um, Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't even know what my password's going to be. So I'm just going to put a generic one. And then change password. And then if you don't have the correct password strength, you're going to get a little thing here saying, sorry, but this is an insecure password. So I need to make up a good one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you can always change your password, but when you enter it here, make sure you enter one that's secure and that you're going to remember. So I'm going to click Change Password. And after you do that, you're ready to get started with your drive. It says, first, let's set you up with Google Drive. Now, you can actually download your drive onto your computer. Um, some districts will let you do that. You can also do this at home. For now, I'm going to say no thanks. And here we are. This is our Google Drive. It says try the new drive. So the first thing that you want to do is go to this settings gear. And you're going to go down to experience the new drive. And it's going to take some time to load and re-upload the new drive. Welcome to the new drive. And then you can go through this quick tutorial. Save time uh, getting organized by putting things in folders bring old files back to life. You can upload your files from your computer to access, them, uh, to access them on any device. So from your teacher or student computer, you can dump them all onto your drive so you can access them anywhere. And then there's a video that you can watch, but I'm just going to click on Take Me to My Drive. Now, just a few pointers before I end the video. As you can see, I'm signed in as eteacher at shafter.org. If I ever want to sign out, I can click here and click sign out or add another account if I have more than one Google account. On the left side, this is where everything happens. The new button is where you're going to create either a folder, file upload, folder upload. This is also where the Google Apps can be found. Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides, and more. I'm going to re-click on that. 
below this, if you see this little arrow next to the My Drive folder, if you click on that, any folders that are in there will be visible, but since I'm new, there won't be any. Incoming is where people share things with you. So if someone shared anything with you, it's going to be on incoming. I like to go to recent because that shows everything that I've recently done starting at the top down and then start and trash. So that's a quick overview for uh, first logging on to your Google Apps for Education account and your district, our district has the Richland School District logo in the corner. Your district may have a different logo. But thank you for watching.